In this video, we'll look at the equation for FeSO4 plus H2O, iron 2 sulfate plus water. So iron 2 sulfate, that forms hydrates when we add water. And it looks something like this. We have the iron atom here, which has that 2 plus charge. It's surrounded by water molecules, in this case, six water molecules. And then the sulfate ion, it's SO4 2 minus, that's attracted to the positive, And we have this hydrate here. This is iron 2 sulfate hexahydrate because there's six of these. So we start out with what's called anhydrous iron 2 sulfate. Anhydrous means there's no water. This is only Fe2SO4. It's a dry yellow powder. When we add the water, we get the hydrate. This is what we're talking about up here, the iron surrounded by the water. So to write the equation, we have FeSO4 plus H2O. That'll yield FeSO4 we put a dot here to show the water molecules are around it, H2O. And if we were writing it for this one, it would be six, but really the most common form is heptahydrate, seven. This is the one we'll see most often. So that's the equation, but it's not balanced. We have seven water molecules here and only one. So we do need to put a coefficient of seven in front of the H2O. And that's it. This is the equation, the balanced equation, for FeSO4 plus H2O. If you heat this up gently, the water molecules, they'll leave and you can go back to the anhydrous. Then you can add more water, the water molecules will surround the iron here, and you'll have the heptahydrate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.